Equity Bank has posted a profit after tax of 19.8 billion shillings for the full year ended December 2020. The result represents an 11.6% drop when compared to the 22.4 billion shillings realized in 2019. Now, the bank attributes the performance to a tough operating environment characterized by the COVID-19 pandemic. Shareholders of the bank will not receive any dividends. And in other results, NCBA Bank recovered or rather recorded a 41% dip in profit after tax for the year ending December 2020. The lender's earnings hit 4.6 billion shillings from 7.8 billion shillings on a higher cover for loan defaults. Well, shareholders nonetheless have something to smile about after the bank declared a final dividend pay of 1 shilling 50 cents per share. And finally, players in the tourism industry have urged the government to ease some of the coronavirus containment measures to enable revival of tourism in the country under the apex body, Kenya Tourism Federation, that wants, among other recommendations, tourist transportation to be accorded special consideration and also allow pubs and restaurants to continue offering limited in services alongside takeaway services. the show this afternoon we speak to Lindsay Lulu who is the business development director at Yellow Moon a company that specializes in gifts in the country also on set will be Achebe Odida a gifts engraver and Josephine Katambo of East Africa Breweries Limited who will give us a perspective on how corporates are building their gifting channels over and above the normal off-the-shelf sales All right, let's get right into it. And the gift industry in Kenya, like all the other sectors, was impacted by the coronavirus pandemic in 2020. But it weathered the storm with reports indicating it grew by 17 percent. Well, joining me this afternoon to put the industry into context is Lindsay Lulu, a business development director at Yellow Moon, a company that specializes in gifting in the country, as well as Achebe Odida, who is an engraver, will be telling us about some of the sustainable projects he's been getting involved in and of course we have Josephine Katambo who will be joining us from EABL virtually. Thank you all for coming in. Um, it's a very interesting time, a unique time uh, given that we're in the middle of a pandemic. Spend has uh, gone down because purchasing power has been affected for a lot of people. Uh, Lindsay, for you, you know, what kind of gift buying have you been seeing uh, at least during this time? Um, I feel like right now uh, delivery services are definitely up there. It's easier to, you, it's very easy to be able to identify that the person you want to gift enjoys A, B, C, D, and then be able to use an online platform to have that specific store, a store deliver um, the items to the person. So, yeah. Wow. So yeah. less personalization right now that yeah, you're seeing? I would think so, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and how about you, Achebe, in terms of just the kinds of gifts people are asking for now? Uh, right now, they are asking for unique gifts in that uh, things that uh, have not actually been in the market for long, but uh, anything that is customized according to their liking. That has always been something that they've yearned for. Yeah. And uh, when they are getting it right now, it's really a good thing because the feedback is always uh, wonderful to me. You know, I'm curious, you know, mm -hmm. what are the big days that people usually give gifts? You could think, okay, Christmas isn't obvious, mm -hmm. uh, birthdays and whatnot, but from mm -hmm. what you've seen, what, what other kind of special occasions? Um, so for us specifically at Yellow Moon, uh, we don't necessarily always need a specific event to be taking place okay. to um, send something special. For us, we, we like to surprise and, and delight and leave our consumers in awe of what it is we are um, presenting to them. So it's not necessarily a specific date, 
um, like just recently we went out of our way to create a really personalized gift for a launch okay. uh, which isn't really what happens usually in Kenya when you are inviting uh, a consumer or a guest mm -hmm. to a launch event yeah so would you say corporate is kind of taking more of the gifting industry or at least the clientele? Yes. If it's done right, I don't see why it wouldn't be something that you would want your brand to be about. Okay. Yes. And, and Achebe, who's doing more of the gift giving or buying from your end? Men or women? Definitely <laughs> women. <laughs> okay. Really? Women really appreciate their better halves uh -huh. and they also gift themselves. <laughs> they gift themselves. They do gift themselves. They really love whenever they see something that is unique, they go for it and they can gift themselves. They look for friends. They are very much in touch with their with with all the people that care in, that matter in their lives. That's very interesting. Oh. So women are into self rewarding. So what kind of gifts are they actually buying? What items are they getting? Um, we have wine glasses. A lot of that, flower vases. Once it's personalized, right. it gives it that nice perspective that it no longer is just a utility item there. It is more like art on can on on glass, because that is my canvas. And, and we'll be talking about that. We'll show our viewers what you're talking about. Uh, Josephine, let me bring you in here. You sit more on the corporate side of things. You know, uh, when you're looking at gift buying and I know EABL has kind of come up with a new segment uh, if you will to kind of showcase a lot of its more unique uh, liquors but what do you have to say about this particular industry I know also that you did um, a survey of sorts in 2019 just to get a lay of the land but what does the gift industry look like uh, in Kenya generally? Um, interesting. So um, gifting is actually very prevalent in Kenya. And one thing that we're noticing from the research that we carried out um, in 2019 is that uh, people gift and of course, birthdays are the most pro uh, prominent, just as even um, the team has said. However, even from a corporate um, standpoint, we have corporates wanting to gift their customers, um, their colleagues, and even just when um, somebody has achieved something great and what we like to term as just because. And um, surprisingly, just from Achebe's feedback from our end, it's the males who like, um, who gift more, especially in the corporate sector. And in this space, we are already seeing out of the 17% of people who are uh, out of the gifts that are being chosen, um, the whiskey is very prominent. And that is why for us at KBL, um, we lead a very um, robust gifting agenda and not just on the festive season, but every other day, because we believe every day is perfect for gifting. And we lead this with our um, um, global giant Johnny Walker. Interesting. So uh, whiskey is the drink of choice for the guys, at least. Okay, hint, hint <laughs> to some of our viewers. Um, but Lindsay, you know, when it's interesting that we have now gift giving services, right, like mm -hmm. yours. Mm -hmm. um, when a client comes to you and they're trying to think through a concept, what do you take them through in terms of, you know, to come up with a gift? Um, so for us, because what we like to do is showcase our clients' products and services in the most unique, disruptive manner, mm -hmm. uh, because for us, us, it's more about creating the experience you know being able to give a gift you'll always have a certain kind of feeling but for us we're we're really about creating an experience so we will discuss your brand what your what your target audience is um, where they're found age bracket etc and that will help guiding us in exactly how to um, showcase your brand to the best of its uh, abilities. Right. Yeah. And, and Achebe, I mean, when someone comes to you with a concept, you're more on the artistic side. In fact, yeah. let me show one of your um, trinkets here. So this is this used to be what, a bottle? It used to be a, a, whis a whiskey bottle. A whiskey bottle. Uh, EABL, that is a double black. Okay. Yes. Um, so we have decided the idea that once you're through with your bottle and you trash it, that will not really be good for the environment. So mm. in line with uh, environmental awareness, I've de we've decided to come up with the idea of having to reuse this thing in a very unique way, where a bottle that was supposed to be disposed turns out to be an ideal gift that will be a memento forever to remember. 
Right, and this kind of thing, you know, is, I guess, going to be an in thing in 2021, um, according to the report we read earlier, environmentally friendly. So what other kind of sustainable projects uh, in terms of gifts are you involved in now? Um, I do a lot of glass. And um, at the moment, even uh, the clients who approach me, they want their portraits, their family portraits, um, mainly things that will be gifted that, that that will help in decorating the house yeah. that has been most of my work that I'm doing at the moment. You know, Josephine, yeah. it's interesting. We've seen over the last decade or so some holidays that used to be considered very Western, Mother's mm -hmm. Day, Father's Day. Um, I think at a point I saw something about St. Patrick's Day and I was wondering how do the Irish fit into Kenya? I don't know. But, you know, in terms of how that has impacted the market uh, for gift giving and the gift industry, how have brands kind of leveraged on that? Kenyans now kind of being more aware of appreciating parents and, and going the extra mile yeah and I'm um, just to add on to what um, Lulu has said in terms of uh, what gift buyers are looking for for sure is something that looks special something that looks premium and that is why you're seeing brands going um, a different and more exciting way to present their brands as the perfect gift and for us at Johnny Walker and at KBL that is one of our key cause over and beyond just providing the product as a product just as we have seen the double black that has been uniquely transformed mm -hmm. into a collectible so we also consider having um, packaging our brands with value added packs that are fantastic souvenirs that they're definitely eye catching and most importantly going to be relevant to the person you're gifting. So for example for whiskey we would gift you a very bespoke whiskey glass and then for gin we have the nice copper glass that you can fantastically enjoy your gin as you're holding it um, in a very bespoke manner or at times it can be um, the whiskey stones, something that you would put in your glass. So for sure, definitely people are becoming more innovative and also taking into um, into what consumer wants and what consumer is looking for, but most importantly, what is going to be relevant and um, exciting for the person that you're gifting. And for us, you see, it's a great opportunity to recruit consumers because as the person who's going to buy the gift, as much as maybe you're not a current consumer, you're going to gift somebody who you for sure know is going to appreciate um, the gift that you're giving them. And for us, you're recruiting um, consumers through our gift that is being showcased as the perfect gift for every occasion. And, and Lulu, let me kind of throw that question to you in mm -hmm. terms of how these newer holidays are coming up. Do you find more and more people wanting to gift on those particular days and how is it helping business? Um, I don't know if you've heard of like half birthdays. No. Half birthdays are becoming a thing. So in the, like for example, if your birthday is at the end of the month, yeah. then now you will celebrate it mid-month. That's your half birthday. Okay, yeah. so, so then another you think, excuse to spend more money on I, someone. Yeah, <laughs> technically. Yeah, but that's, you see, that's also where he comes in because it's also always so much nicer to receive something that's personalized rather than, because you can get flowers and chocolates and the usual things anywhere, but imagine <coughs> give, giving someone um, flowers and chocolate and then maybe a wine glass that has your name on it or a specific date or something. Um, so yeah, so it, it, there's dates coming up, but there's never a gift that you, there's never a, a date that you cannot find a gift for. I have to ask this because now that you've mentioned something like half birthdays, um, <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of push gifts, yes. right? Where a, yes. a woman, a mother is given a gift for after delivering having a baby. baby. Yeah. Have you had those kinds of instances? No, what kind of we, gifts? Okay. we have not yet. Okay. Uh, but because we, we like to stay on top of global trends, yeah. uh, it's not something that we are, are shy away from yeah so okay ready for that <laughs> yeah very very interesting um josephine let me bring you in because there's now the issue of us moving into the digital space right so there's less uh touching experience in terms of seeing a gift having that feel for it um and moving to a touchless buying experience so how can brands kind of scale their digital touch points, if you will, when it comes to shopping online? No, fantastic question. So for sure, also, we have been um, tasked to become more innovative, um, especially now that uh, consumers are not having the luxury of actually being in the store and feeling the gift and seeing it. So we have um, 
we have two things. So one, we have our catalog that we have um, all our brands listed with all the amazing um, offers that we have and even just liquid profiles and uh, why we consider uh, maybe the tankery the perfect gift for um, for her or why um, Johnny Walker Black is a perfect gift for him when he's celebrating a fantastic milestone. So it gives you um, a very detailed um, information about our products that is live on our website and over and beyond that we have um, now partners like Jumia, Yam and our very own Party Central where they have um, this great um, pictures of our brand, information about them and then the beauty about it is with convenience you just need to place your order and it will be delivered to um, whoever you want to gift at that particular moment and then of course we take it a notch higher and we partner with our influencers where we get to um, co-create with them and showcase um, our products as the perfect gifts for every occasion and we can even tailor make the occasion for example Christmas birthday um, he got a promotion or even just because because even in know as part of our culture if you come to visit me for the first time um i may as well just show up with a johnny walker blue and, and i know you have to go soon josephine but you know as we've said earlier this industry has a lot of potential we saw a 17 percent uh, growth in the last year uh, as you're looking at the future um you know, what opportunities kind of lay out there for brands to take advantage of in the gift industry Oh, fantastic. So um, for us, what we um, are currently very um, futuristic looking into is just as we have said, and even Lulu has mentioned, there are many new upcoming gifting occasions um, that we for sure as brand need to tap into. So of course, with the full understanding of the purpose and how your brand would fit into any occasion, and then just driving that hard so that also the consumer has more awareness that um, this this gift is actually the perfect gift for this occasion. So even in your communication and how we are um, showcasing our products, we are also showcasing them as the best fit product for um, the particular gifting occasion that you're going for. For example, we have Father's Day and Mother's Day upcoming. So for sure, you're going to see a lot of um, good stuff coming from KBL as we showcase our brands as the perfect brands. And even just soon and next week, we have Easter upcoming. So be sure um, as much as we may have um, movement um, restricted at the moment, uh, please visit partycentral.co.ke and for sure within 30 minutes you will get your favorite product um, and maybe you can even send it to your friends, your relatives um, in the spirit of the festive season. But most importantly we definitely like to push for um, responsible drinking is paramount and definitely um, for only over 18. All right. Thank you for that disclaimer, Josephine, and your time and insights as well. We'll let you go. Uh, thanks for coming on to the show. But uh, still with me, of course, is Lindsay and Achebe. It's interesting, um, we were looking through a survey that was done in 2019 by EABL about the gift industry, and they <clears> found <throat> that most Kenyans bought their gifts from the supermarket, okay. right? Um, for you, that is a specialized gift-giving business. How do you get the word out there for people to know we're here and this is what we offer? Um, so for us, we are industry mavericks and our work speaks very loudly for itself. So most people already have seen our work elsewhere and then will approach us because they saw something that was, you know, beyond normal or uh, what they've seen before and then they want something similar. Um, but we have, we try our best to be very um, out there on social media as well. And we feel that word of mouth is very, very reliable as well. So we make sure that our clients have, um, that our clients feel like we showcase their products and services really, really well. You know, Achebe, we talked about this earlier. COVID-19 has really impacted people's pockets. So as much as you mean well to give a gift, you may not be able to afford to. And, and right now, you know, you're seeing people, if they were to give a gift, uh, they would spend significantly less. True. How do you kind of stay relevant in this space, um, make gifts that are a bit more affordable, if you will? So what do you tell clients who say, I don't have as much as I used to, maybe the year before, but I still want to give a gift? It's always good to have a listening ear, and we understand the situation we are in is unique, not only in Kenya, but worldwide. So sometimes when a client, especially for the long-term clients, if they want uh, something at a relatively affordable price, 
I, we always adjust the prices. That has always been there, and they do appreciate. But one thing I also need to mention is whenever I'm contracted with EABL, when a client sees a branded or personalized gift, even if they wanted one, they'll definitely go for more because they realize actually they have so many friends that uh, they've looked for gifts to get for them and uh, they've never had any idea. But once they see that a light bulb just goes on and they decide the purchase that can continue. You mentioned EABL is one of your clients, so I'm assuming that you have a lot of corporate clients. Um, but when it comes to how much they used to spend, for instance, for an event, very few gigs are happening, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in terms of uh, those kinds of gatherings. So what changes have kind of been made in terms of how they give gifts now? Uh, right now, normally it's uh, they can call me up or they can bring over the gift at my place. I do the gift, the branding then they take it to the client. Mm -hmm. That definitely has been uh, quite an, uh, it, it has impacted badly because initially, a lot of these things used to happen at an event. You know, when people are gathered together, there's that, uh, the, the, the communication or the availability of gifting is very easy. But in this particular case, it has to be something that has, be, has to be pre-planned. Right. Yes. You know, it's interesting. We were talking about this earlier, Lindsay, in terms of just the trends you've been seeing emerging as a result of the pandemic. More practical gift giving. You know, most of us are, are working from home. Yes. And so instead of the flashy, more personalized kind of gifts, what are you seeing people giving now? Um, because we have been forced to spend a lot more time in our homes, uh, a lot of kitchenware, uh, a lot of, I've seen people gifting uh, beddings, you know, like maybe more colorful if you're more into the black and white theme, um, curtains, you know. Um, I've seen people also gifting um, like laptop stations to like be able to sit more comfortably because we are all working from home right now. Right. Um, so things like that, yeah. All right, and we'll be getting your closing thoughts, but let's take a short break here on Business Now. If you have any questions or comments, keep them coming, hashtag Business Now. And of course, tag us online at Citizen TV Kenya. We'll be back, stay with us. <laughs> 